Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amelia Ann and I post new life and style videos every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Now the super fun thing about this video is I filmed the whole thing yesterday and then proceeded to delete all the footage. So, um, you know, it's no one's fault but my own. I don't want to admit that I deleted all my footage, but I did. You know, sometimes it happens, what can you do? My hair was a lot cuter yesterday, right now it just kind of looks like I have no hair besides random flyaways. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. But so the video for this week is my one year anniversary on YouTube. So it's really crazy that I've been doing this for one year, considering I have zero hobbies and enjoy basically nothing. Um, it's not that dark act that I've been able to do this pretty consistently. Um, you know, there's been a few times throughout the year where I've taken just extended breaks. Like even last week, I didn't post a video just because I didn't really have a good idea and I just wasn't feeling motivated, mostly because of quarantine right now. Turns out a lot of my life revolves around going out and buying things. So far, um, you know, you obviously start at zero. And right now I have 44 subscribers and you know, there's always that constant like, I should have more because, you know, you watch huge YouTubers like Emma Chamberlain, who I think she has like 9 or 10 million right now. James Charles just hit like 18, Jeffree Star has 18, and then, you know, Shane Dawson has like 23 or something. Like these insane numbers and obviously they're just on a different path than I am. And I know when I really take a step back, it's like there's still 44 people, some I know, some I don't, who have decided that in their life, they want to subscribe to me and take time out of their day to watch, like comment, whatever it is, my videos, which is insane because I think who would want to watch this? Like, I'm so awkward. I'm still trying to look at the camera and not the viewfinder. Trying to talk quicker, not say um so many times. I don't have to cut it out so many times. You know, just be like more out there and extroverted, even though that's not me. So what's the balance between being interesting on the camera, but not so over dramatic that you're like no this is not her and then it wouldn't feel authentic to me and it would just like emotionally drain me more because i'm just like not good at being like hey guys what's up on today's video like it just does not come naturally to be like that excited but i am and i hope you guys can tell that through this camera that I really do enjoy making videos even though sometimes it's a struggle like sometimes I delete my footage you know it's a lot technically to think of an idea gain, you know get anything I need to get set up my camera make sure I have like lighting and my makeup's done whatever it is down and, and editing and going through that process and posting and sometimes I make trailers or whatever it is so it is a lot of effort for what would I think traditionally be called like not a lot of in return. I really do enjoy the process of it and seeing what sticks and what doesn't and what people do enjoy watching and what they don't enjoy watching. And it's so funny because every video where I'm like, yeah, I think this is gonna be like really good. I think people are really gonna love it. It's those videos that always get the least amount of views and watch time versus the ones that I'm just like, oh, this is just like a fun vlog or whatever. Or it's just kind of a throwaway video almost where those are the ones that have more views and have more watch time. And I'm like, oh, okay. But I just wanna close this video out. You know, it's kind of like sappier and it's more just like me sitting down saying thank you and I appreciate everyone who's interacted at all throughout this past year and continues to. It really does mean a lot in every person who has like reached out. I remember and I thank you because you don't have to do that at all. 
and I started this channel on the principle that a lot can happen in a year and I didn't want time to just go by and not know what this could be. Back in April 2019 was like a real turning point in my life just emotionally and mentally and I feel kind of like a different person 12 months later back here and it just really is crazy considering like we are currently in the middle of a pandemic which if you told me that back a year ago like hey this time next year we're all gonna be in pandemic you're gonna be quarantined i'm in my sixth week quarantined i'd be like no i an asteroid is more likely to hit earth than that because it sounds crazy because it is crazy if you have a dream or anything that you want to do a goal anything do it you can make a plan and understand that you're probably gonna have to change that plan and be flexible enough, but rigid enough to do it. You know, I thought this channel would be like all fashion because I like clothing and all that, but it's turned out to be more beauty because I found out like, wow, I really love this whole other section. And you know, I don't know what this next year is gonna bring, but I started it and I'm really happy with where I'm at right now, mostly just because I stuck with something for a year, which is not easy for me. So I think I am going to wrap this video up right now because I don't know how many times I can say thank you and I appreciate it. And if you have a dream, just go for it without it just being so redundant. So thank you all again. So this video might be too sappy and too long and maybe more for me just as a learning experience but yeah i will be back with like more regular fun content next week and thank you and i hope you all have a wonderful day